Alright, hey guys, it's Mark Shea here. You're watching another episode of Exploring Music, and this is kind of a learn guitar in 10 minutes or less um, segment. It's more of a rant sort of thing, not a rant, but um, more advice on what not to do. So, <coughs> or what not to play, and that's what's important. Now, you know, you've got amazing guitarists out there, and a lot of people see that as the pinnacle. You know, people like Steve Vai, Vinnie Moore, Joe Cetriani, you know, so many in the metal community, especially they're so guitar heavy, they can just shred, you know, like Dave Mustang and all that. And they're just absolutely amazing and their fingers just, you know, go, go absolutely nuts. And that's great. And, you know, like Paul Gilbert's amazing as well. You know, there's, the list just goes on and on. You know, I could sit here all day naming incredible guitar players that have so much speed and skill and a lot of people try and emulate that but even though these guys can play freakishly amazing fast stuff they also know when not to play and that is what this is about Guitar, you know you can you can go for gold you know, and you can just be up and down the neck, and your fingers are going 100 miles a minute, and it's, you know, all that sort of stuff. And, yeah, okay. But what does it do for the song? And this is what is important. And where you, where you will really learn this lesson is in the blues. What makes the, what makes the guitar solo great isn't how many notes are crammed in it. It's how many notes are left out of it. Because I can guarantee you, there's a million people that can shred like crazy, and a lot of them are even faster than the guitarists that I've named. You know, these guys are just... But they wouldn't know how to play guitar to save their lives, because all they do is like, I'm going to see how fast I can go, I'm going to shove every note I can into this 12 bars, and just get... and go nuts. And it sucks. So, okay, well you can play so fast I can't even hear all the notes. Right, so what's the point of that? Okay, you've built up your fingers. You know, muscle memory, yeah. But it is important to know when not to play. What notes not to play. That's more important than what notes you actually play. And if you ever want a perfect example of this, B.B. King is amazing. Um, you know, like I saw him live once many years ago, and I was only a young kid, and it was just like, whoa, it sounds like he's just playing one note. You know, he could just sit there and... And he would just sit on one note. But you combine that with the music. You know, go listen to his stuff. You know, he'll do runs of one to three notes. You know, it'll probably be something like... It's just... But you listen to it in the context of the song, and it's just unreal. And all the all the real blues greats have that. They know when to play, when not to play. You know, BB King, Eric Clapton, Gary Moore, and the list just goes on. Yeah, you know, Steve Ray Vaughan. He knew when to shred it up. Now, Steve Ray Vaughan's my favorite blues guitarist of all time. He knew when to shred it up and when to play the most amazing things. And then he knew when to just come right back and play two or three notes. And that's the key. Now, I'm going to give you an example, which I hope you'll find the latter better. I'm going to play along to a blues track. And the first part, I'm just going to shove everything I can into it. And then I'm going to slow it down to show you my point. So, here we go.
Yeah, okay. So, I hope you get the point there. It's like, okay, I can play a whole bunch of stuff and just cram it in there and go, oh, look at me. But then I can slow it down and I can interpret it myself and do this sort of stuff. And sometimes it doesn't need, sometimes, you know, you can still be flashy. You can throw little licks in there and all that sort of stuff. And then you can just play one note. And you can do that even in fast songs. It doesn't have to be a slow blues song. It could be in fast songs and you can just let the music change the note. You can sit there on one note. You can... Yeah, you can sit there doing that and it can be an off note. And the music changing around it will change the note. Even though you haven't moved your fingers. Now... Another another thing is is you know off beats, okay. So not out of time, not playing out of time, but you know again you listen to the the greats and BB King was another one that would play on these really weird off beat notes, but it would it would come back in and it was just the way he played it. And Eric Clapton was the same in certain songs, so you know it, it's about how you interpret the song, how you time it, what not to play, when to play, and making it work for the song. So keep that in mind. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hit like, hit subscribe. I've got more coming up. And uh, don't get the notification bell. Uh, until next time, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm Mark Shea. I hope I made my point here. This is Exploring Music. Until next time. See ya!